Aquarius. Welcome to the age of Aquarius. Pluto is moving into your sign on the 19th of November. And, you know, it's been in your sign a couple times, but it retrograded back out. So now it's going to be arriving for 20 years. So Pluto, the planet of transformation, change, power, rules other people's money. It rules combined monies. It rules sex. It rules deep emotions. It's considered Hades in Greek mythology. Okay. You do not need to be alarmed. You just need to pay attention to what changes that this is showing you. Okay. Now I did. Oh, let's talk a little bit more. So you're going to also have outside of this Pluto thing, which is huge. Okay. This is huge. Now, some people in some signs will never get Pluto in their sign in their lifetime. Okay. Because it just takes so long to move, but you lucky Aquarius is you get the experience and you're, you're getting that from someone who did have a uh, Pluto in their sign for I, 1995 to 2008. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I had it 13 years. So you're getting it for 20. Lucky you. So I found, like I said, I've talked about this a few times that, you know, when it went into my sign in 1995, I think 1995 was the hardest year of my life. I just felt I got whacked by things. I was not into this kind of stuff then. I was not cooperating. I was recovering Jehovah's Witness and I was kind of on the run, right? And so my life got really messy. And then by the time Pluto moved all through my sign and it left my sign in 2008, things really came together for me. I met my life partner and I launched into a new portion of my life. Okay. So I see you doing really great things with this Pluto energy. Please do not be afraid of it. Just cooperate with the changes that are being shown to you. Now you also have a trine with Jupiter because Jupiter's in the air sign of Gemini. And even though it's in its detriment in Gemini, and even though it's retrograde, it's still making a trine with you. So it is a positive aspect, a triangle, okay? And so you do have this planet of luck and blessings trining you, and you also, it does have to do with foreign travel, so that is a good thing. You have a square with Mars, the planet of action in the heart-based sign of Leo. So squares are considered like 90 degrees, um, actually, that's not true. Uh, Leo's across from you, so that's not a square, that's an opposition. So you've got the standoff, one side, one side, right? You've got Mars, who's the god of war in Greek mythology, um, it, across from you in this heart-based sign of Leo. So you may feel like there may be action that you need to take. Maybe you want different things. Um, there's like aggressive energy, so you have to be really careful about fighting, all right? And, but it's there. Now you have the sun will be in the fixed sign of Scorpio until November 21st and you're a fixed sign Aquarius. So there's another um, square going on. So the energy will get a little lighter for you once it, we move into Sagittarius season after the 21st, okay? Now remember, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Mars, so you kind of have like these double oppositions and squares, so just roll with the punches. You're going to get a lot of that out of the way in the beginning of the month. It means if you're pushing for things or trying to get your way or um, just, you know, I just kind of see like arguing with people, it's just, you're just kind of hitting these hard spots. Wait till it flows a little better later in the month. All right, now let's see what your pre-reading was. I pulled these in advance. I got the Page of Crystals, which would be the Page of Swords here from the Dreamy Moons Tarot. Um, you're an air sign Aquarius, so this is basically you. Page of Crystals, Page of, like Page's young energy. She's holding this beautiful crystal. She's showing up, and that's all we can ask right now. You gotta show up and pay attention. Now, you've got the two of swords here, here, so this is your second, so you went from like a page, or like, I almost think of a page as a one, you go to a two, here's the two, so she's kind of crossed, maybe, <clears throat> maybe you're kind of like protecting yourself, or protecting yourself in conversation, and so it's kind of asking you just to go within and make sure, have the inner conversation with yourself. Also, we're going to have a Mercury retrograde this month, and that will be in the sign of Sagittarius, so there's a chance to kind of redo some things, renegotiate, um, re, I don't know, if you had an argument with somebody, you can go back and, and, and clear it up, okay? 
got the Wheel of Fortune here, which is a Sagittarius card. We're going to be in Sagittarius season here at the end of the month. Think of this as the Wheel of Fate. Interesting how there's like a person on both sides. It's almost like an opposition. This is a card of foreign travel, higher learning, expansion. Okay, and you do have the trine with Jupiter. That's the ruling planet of the Wheel of Fortune. So <clears throat> even though some things may feel tough and maybe you're not quite sure what's going on with your own feelings right now, or maybe you don't know, maybe you're having a hard time in some of your relationships, there's some travel things opening up for you. There's some bigger picture. And sometimes these are just some of the things that you need to learn, okay? Now, your Oracle card is Blue Bell Fairy Gratitude. And really, well, you can't go wrong with gratitude, right? I love the blue that's shining off of this. And so gratitude is where it's at. All right, now that, that was your pre-reading. Let's do a little live reading here. See what you need to know this big month of November as we begin the timer goes on for your 20 years of Ludo. <clears throat> Just think how different you're going to be on the other end of this transit. All right. Card number one is the Nine of Swords. This is the Insomnia card. This is the Worrying. More air. Okay, so there's just a lot on your mind. And it's interesting coming in under that page of crystals that I was kind of referencing as like an Ace of Swords. Um, it's almost like you're going to put down some of that burden. Okay. Here's the Queen of Swords, and she would be the one to cut out some things that don't work. This is really you, Aquarius, Queen of Air. Even if you're a man, these cards are non-gender. This is about receiving. She's the queen of boundaries. She knows how to make them, and she knows how to advocate for herself. So she's showing up. Underneath this two of swords, which looks like there's indecision, the queen of swords comes in, and she knows clearly. You've also got the page of wands here. So there's some fresh energy. It's coming under the wheel of fortune. It's almost like you made a decision. You're, you're moving forward. There's new, new fresh energy here. It's kind of exciting. Now your oracle card is the wood nymph and it says beauty. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, so enjoying the beauty, finding yourself in a place of gratitude. Looks like you have some nice people around you. All right, so kind of just talking to yourself and kind of letting yourself know that a lot of the things you're worrying about are not even really gonna happen, okay? I know that the, like, we're dealing with an election, there's a lot of big things on our mind, and there's even more on the mind of an Aquarius right now. This can be Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, by the way. All right, I'm pulling cards for the each week of November. <clears throat> See what you need to know here. Week one, our election week. We've got the Hierophant, interesting, which is all about like higher power, change, five, okay? But it's coming in under this nine of swords so it looks like if you connect higher maybe you just maybe you pray a little maybe you get grounded because this is often considered a taurus card about stability and find your stability find your feet because a lot of the energy is in your head okay so getting grounded maybe walking around barefoot um sheila height my mentor who i share a lot of her videos on instagram she's talking a lot about wearing ankle weights right now to keep us grounded okay so these are kind of things to get grounded whatever way works for you if that's the church then fine if that's prayer fine whatever it is to get you planted and out of this overthinking week two high priestess beautiful now, you have the two up at the top, then you have the Queen of Swords here, but then you've got the two of water, the High Priestess. She um, she quiets down enough. She can hear. She can feel. She's psychic, okay? She's ruled by the moon. So she's here. She kind of got like mom energy. So maybe there's some peace there. Week two, some comforting. Week three. Now, let's see. Week two, I think, was the week that Pluto moved into your sign. Week three, we have the King of Wands here, who's a travel card again. So I, I really do see a lot of travel in your future here. Maybe you're planning something. Okay, a king goes out and goes after what he wants. And that, I think, is the week that Pluto moved into your sign, either between two and three. Then we move into Thanksgiving. Oh, and you have the Six of Cups here. It's a card of reminiscing. And there's a gift being given. So maybe... <clears throat> Maybe you're reminiscent on your old childhood experiences of 
the holidays. Maybe you're around new people, making new new memories. Um, it looks like coming under this wood nymph beauty sign. You're definitely surrounded by more new people kind of and a lot of beautiful energy. So six of cups, maybe you might feel a little nostalgic on Thanksgiving, but um, it's kind of part of the beauty. So just just remember gratitude. Gratitude is the key to success for for always, but especially for you right now. All right, so I'm going to move these cards to the side and I'm going to throw some charms onto this calendar of November, kind of just tossing them. Now, let's see what you need to know here. I'm also going to roll some dice. Your dice say Pisces, Sun Pisces, 12th house. Okay, so the sun visibility. I just kind of turned it there. Okay, Sun Pisces, 12th house. So Pisces feels a lot, doesn't always want to share it all, often likes to retreat back, okay? 12th house is the house of retreating. It's a house of karma, and but the sun is shining there. So you, Pisces often need a lot of time alone. They need rest. They need to step back. There's some karmic energy to it. So maybe you're clearing up some old ways of being, okay? I've got the letter S and T um, here. It looks like it was around the 19th. That's spelled street got the letter E and T at the top, another E up here. I've got the letter A on the 27th, the letter N on the 31st, the letter K on the 7th. Just see what you can make out of these. L on the 10th, S on the 18th, A on the 20th, and N on the 27th, and over here on the 25th is letter I. So I've got words like um, silk, um, the, na the name Stan, word tank, tail, T-A-L-E, and tail, T-A-I-L, sail, sails, nail, nails. <clears throat> See if your initials come up in here also. The word eight, A-T-E, sat, sank, sink. Okay, got an angel wing down here at the bottom. Okay, so on the 27th of October, you've got this symbol, like this little man here and the letter A. You've got the moon here on the 28th. This N here falls on Halloween. The angel shows up on the 1st, which was like All Souls Day, right? Um, the 6th, you have like a gift here. 7th, the K. Over here on the 10th is the L. The most activity looks like it's the 18th, 19th, 20th. With the 18th, you have a castle along with the letter S. The 19th, you have ST and the 20th, the A. So a lot of energy there and a little bit on the 25th and 27th, all right? So those are the power times for you. Looks like it's very consolidated, 18th, 19th, 20th. Let's see what the dice tell us when we talk about the sun and basically Pisces. So the sun rules the sign Leo, and the moon will be in the sign of Leo on Wednesday, November 20th, which is part of that power strip here you had. The 20th at 8.51 a.m. through the 21st into the 22nd until 6.01 p.m. Power times for you, along with Pisces. So the moon moves into Pisces on the 11th. At 11 p.m., all through. What do I have here? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's the. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm confused. That is the ninth. Okay, so the ninth at 11 p.m. into the tenth, where we have the letter L, into the eleventh, all day on the eleventh, into the twelfth until 1:26 a.m. These are power times for you. I wish you all the best, Aquarius, and good luck with Pluto. Make the best of it. Enjoy your month.